I'm Anil Kumar and we will try to understand what is a trigonometric equation and how to solve it. Now this is one of the first videos on this topic. So we have just taken single ratios, kind, kind of this question is cos x is equals to minus half where x is between 0 to 360 degrees. This is an equation since we have equal to sign trigonometric equation since we have uh, one of our trigonometric ratios cosine in this particular case. So it qualifies as a trigonometric equation, but it's one of the most simplest of all and I think critical to understand. We will solve this equation in different ways. So we have cos of minus half and domain is from 0 to 360 degrees. Let us begin by understanding in which quadrant cos is positive and in which quadrant cos is negative. We know in quadrant 1 all are positive in quadrant 2 sin is positive then tan is positive in 3 cos is positive in quadrant 4. Now when we say cos value is negative that means we are expecting answer in quadrant 2 or in quadrant 3. So we are expecting two answers that is one one thing we should remember. We could answer this question by first finding the acute angle. So what our strategy is going to be always for any trigonometric equation first find the related acute angle right so we'll find the angle let me call this angle as alpha so that cos of alpha is half so that is my first step so we are trying to solve for cos of alpha equals to half question is cos x equals to minus half from here we will solve this question right now how to find alpha alpha is equals to cos inverse of half. Now we can use calculator to answer this question. Cos inverse of half. Second function cos inverse 1 divided by 2 bracket close equals to 60 degrees. Okay. So we get our answer as alpha equals to 60 degrees. Right? Now some of you who remember the special triangles could have also answered this question including the special triangle right if you remember and it's good to remember so we will be actually drawing these special triangles side by side so that ultimately you remember them it is kind of important so we are looking for cosine half means adjacent side over hypotenuse 1 over 2 so that angle and in this special triangle this angle is 60 this angle you know is 30 degrees and here so from the special triangle also you could have got the answer so either way you could have got the answer but what we really found here is the alpha the acute angle okay question really is what question is cos of x equals to minus half right now what is x equals to? this is what you have to answer right so first step is to figure out which quadrant we found that now find acute angle we know that and now the answer the answer is for cos of x equals to minus half which is either in quadrant 3 or in quadrant 2 right but the acute angle remains same so this angle will remain same with that we can actually write down our answer so the first answer will be 180 degrees this is 180 degrees minus alpha so one value is we have two possible solutions one is 180 degrees minus the acute angle 60 and the other is 180 degrees plus the acute angle 60. Do you get the point? Because alpha is equal to 60 for us, which we found earlier. So that is how you should be solving. And therefore you say x is equal to 180 minus 60. You can use the calculator, write down your answers, right? And 180 plus 60, which is 240 degrees, right? So these are the two answers in the given domain 0 to 360 where cos x is minus half right so we'll write down our answer as x is equals to 120 degrees and 240 degrees correct so these are the steps to be followed to find solution of a trigonometric equation simple as given to to you in this particular example right now if you understand these steps you should be in a position to answer complicated trigonometric equations also. Remember, in any equation, ultimately, 
you have to give solution for a ratio equals to a number. So this method is to be followed for each and every question when it comes to trigonometric equation. Therefore, it is kind of very important video. I will suggest go through it once again, understand the steps and then move forward and do linear and quadratic trigonometric equations. Thank you and all the best.